Welcome to the third video session on elliptical curve cryptography. So here in this video session we shall discuss how we can find the points p plus q and 2p on the elliptic curve. In the first video segment we saw how to find all the points of the elliptic curve in a given modulus p. In the second video segment we described and discussed the process of encryption and decryption and here we shall find the points p plus q and 2p. So there are expressions. So now, for example, let us consider the elliptical curve y square equals x cube minus x. So this is how the elliptic curve looks like. Now let me consider two points P and Q. So if this is point P and point Q, and if I join these two points P and Q by a line and extend it, I find that it would intersect the elliptical curve at one more point. And if I find the other point by taking its mirror image above the horizontal axis, I get this point, and this point is referred to as the point P plus Q. Right? So this point P plus Q is nothing but a point which is symmetric to this point where the line which passes through P and Q intersects the elliptic curve. Now how do we find the point P plus Q? To find the coordinates of the point P plus Q, we have an expression. So let us assume that the coordinates of P be x1, y1 and Q is x2, y2. And let the coordinates of P plus Q be x3 and y3. So I need to find x3 and y3. So for P plus Q, X3 equals Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1 the whole square minus X1 minus X2. So this is the expression. And then to find the point Y3, it is minus Y1 plus y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x1 minus x3. So this is to find the points p plus q where the coordinates x3 and y3 can be calculated by using these expressions. Right? Now for 2p, to find the point 2p, now if you assume that the point P and Q are one and the same and you have a tangent passing through the single point where that point represents P and Q where both of them are the same we have the values or we have the expression given by both P and Q are the same point so I have that point represented by X1, Y1 and the point 2P represented by X3 and Y3 so that is given by the expression so this is where P equals Q for the condition. So X3 is 3X1 square plus A divided by 2Y1 the whole square minus 2X1 and Y3 equals minus Y1 plus 3X1 square plus A divided by 2Y1 into X1 minus X3. So now here you would have a question that what is A? Now we know that the elliptical curve is defined by y square equals x cube plus ax plus b. So this A is nothing but the A what I have here in the formula. So let us solve two problems. The first problem would be very simple and in the next problem we will be considering the elliptical curve in a given modulus. So there we need to be a bit careful to find the points. So let's take an example. On the elliptic curve, on the elliptic curve y square equals x cube minus 36x, let p be equal to minus 3 comma 9 and q be equal to minus 2 comma 8, find p plus q and also find 2p. So for 2p we assume that this is the only point existed here and both the points are one and the same. So for p plus q, this is x1, y1 and this is x2, y2. So I substitute the values 
it's a problem of just a simple substitution. So I get x3 equals y2 minus y1. So 8 minus 9 divided by x2 minus x1 is minus 2. Minus of minus 3 is plus 3 the whole square minus x1 which is minus of minus 3 minus of minus 2. So what do I get here? Here I get 1 divided by 1 the whole square. So I get 1 square plus 3 plus 2 which is 6. So x3 is 6 and what is y3? y3 is minus y1 minus y1 is minus 9 plus y2 minus y1 which is 8 minus 9 divided by minus 2 minus of x1 which is plus 3 into x1 x1 is minus 3 minus x3 which is minus 6 so you have to be very careful with the signs so I have minus 9 so this would be minus 1 by plus 1 so I get minus 1 into minus 9 right so this would be minus 9 plus 9 so the value is 0 here so the point P plus Q so let me write the point the point P plus Q is nothing but 6 comma 0 so this is the point P plus Q so P plus Q has the coordinates 6 comma 0 so now the point 2p. So for the point 2p, I only consider p here, which is minus 3 and 9. So x1 and y1 is minus 3 and 9. And what about a? a is from the given expression of the elliptic curve, it is minus 36. So let me write it here. a is minus 36. So we get x3, which is 3x1 square. 3 into x1 is minus 3 the whole square plus a, a is minus 36 divided by 2y1, 2 into y1 is 9, the whole square minus 2 into minus 3, where x1 is minus 3, isn't it? So here I get 9 into 3, which is 27, minus 36 divided by 18, the whole square, plus 6. So this is 1 by 4 plus 6 so I get the value as 25 by 4 so make sure that you do the calculations correctly so you get it as 25 by 4 next to calculate y3 so I have minus y1 which is minus 9 plus 3x1 squared 3 into x1 is minus 3 the whole square is 9 plus a, a is minus 36, divided by 2 into y1, that is 18, into x1. What is x1? x1 is here the value, which is minus 3, minus 25 by 4, which is x3. So this is x3 here. So I need to do the calculation. So when I do the calculations, I get the value as minus 35 by 8, right? So the coordinates of 2p is 25 by 4 and minus 35 by 8. So this was very simple because we just had to find the values of 2p and uh, p plus q. So now in the next problem, let us consider an elliptical curve in a given modulus. So there you will not be able to just calculate the values as it is because the elliptical curve is in a given modulus. So let's take that example. So consider the elliptical curve E23 of 1 comma 1. So that means you have an elliptical curve y square a is 1, b is 1, x cube plus x plus 1. Right? So remember that we are operating in mod 23. So when we are operating in mod 23, you will only get values varying from 0 to 22. So all the points, the coordinates of the point p plus q or 2p will B one of these values ranging from 0 to 22 right so they will be integers with values varying from 0 to 22 only so you will not get fractions so the first part of the problem if p equals 13 comma 7 
what is minus p? So we know that the minus p is calculated by the formula x comma minus y. The value of x coordinate remains the same. You only attach a negative sign to the y value. So it's going to be 3 comma minus 7. But minus 7 is invalid in mod 23. So to get, to get its positive value, what do we do? We add 23 to minus 7. So that gives me 13 comma minus 7 plus 23. So that gives me 16. Right? So I add the mod value to minus 7. So I get 16. So this is the answer. So you have to remember that we are operating in mod 23. The next one, find point R, which is nothing but P plus Q, where the point P is 3 comma 10 and the point Q is 9 comma 7. So remember we are operating in mod 23. I need to substitute the values using these two expressions. So x3 is y2, which is 7, minus y1, 10, divided by x2, 9, minus x1, 3, the whole square, minus 3, minus 9. So here what do I get? You get minus 3 divided by 6, the whole square, 9, minus 9, minus 3 is minus 12. So here I would get, this is 1 by 2. So minus 1 by 2, the whole square is 1 by 4. What is minus 12 in mod 23? I add 23. So when I add 23 to minus 12, I get 11. Now, what is 1 by 4 in mod 23? So it is 1 into 4 inverse plus 11. So I need to find the inverse of 4 in mod 23. So I find that 6 is the inverse of 4 in 23 because 6 into 4 is 24. So if I divide 24 by 23, I get 1 as the remainder. So 4 and 6 are inverses of each other in mod 23. So I can write 4 inverse as 6. So 1 into 6 plus 11. So that gives me a value 17. So remember, the coordinate value x3 is 17. So you have to remember these things. If it is negative, add 23 the mod value if you have a number in the denominator you need to find the inverse in the given mod value what is y3 so what is y3 y3 is minus y1 so this is minus 10 y1 is minus 10 plus y2 minus y1 which is 7 minus 10 divided by x2 minus x1 9 minus 3 into x1 is 3 minus x3 is 17 so here again, I have minus 10 here. So minus 10 in mod 23 would be minus 10 plus 23 would give me 13 plus. So here what do I get? Here I get minus 1 by 2 into minus 14. So minus minus gets cancelled. So this is 7. So I get 13 plus 7 which is right so the two values of p plus q so the coordinates of p plus q which is x3 comma y3 is 17 comma 20. so in the next case i need to find the value of 2p now to find the value of 2p we consider only p value isn't it so x1 y1 so what is x3 x3 is we need to use these two expressions 3x1 square 3 into 9 plus a is 1 divided by 2 into y1. y1 is 10. The whole square minus 2 into x1 which is minus 6. So this is equal to 28 by 20 the whole square minus 6. So minus 6 in mod 23 is 17. So let me write 17 here. Now here I have 28. So 28 is a value which is greater than 23. So I can write its mod value. So 28 and mod 23 is 5 by 20 the whole square plus 17. So 4 is there. So I get, so here I have 1 by 4 the whole square plus 17. So we already know the inverse of 4 in mod 23. 
So 1 into 4 inverse, the whole square, plus 17. We have just seen that in the previous uh, problem where we did find the value of p plus q, the coordinate values of p plus q. Inverse of 4 is 6. So 6 square plus 17. So 6 square is 36 plus 17. So you add and find the value in mod 23. So I get the value as 7. So this is nothing but 53. So 53 in mod 23 would give me a value 7. Remainder is 7. Alright. So next to find the value of y3, it is minus y1 which is minus 10 plus 3 into x1 square 9 plus 1 divided by 2 into y1 is 10 into x1. What is x1? 3 minus 7 which is x3. So I need to find the value here. So here we have minus 10. So minus 10 in mod 23 is 13 plus. So here I have again 28 divided by 20 into minus 4. So again we know that 28 by 20 can be written as 1 by 4. So this is 1 by 4. So I have 13 plus 1 by 4 into minus 4. So I have 13 plus 1 by 4 is 6 into minus 4. So this is 13 minus 24. So what is minus 24 in mod 23? So it is plus 22. So I have 13 plus 22. So what is 13 plus 22? I get it as 35. So what is 35 in mod 23? I write the remainder here. So it is 12. So therefore the points the coordinate points of 2p is nothing but 7 comma. So this is how we can find the points of p plus q and 2p if you have an elliptical curve which is defined in a given mod value p. So make sure that you do the calculations correctly especially if the elliptical curve has been defined in a given modulus p especially if you have a negative sign here or if you have if you need to find the inverse. Okay, so you have to be very careful and you need to do the calculations correctly. So this was the third video on elliptical curve cryptography. So do make sure that you watch the other videos of elliptical curves. And to watch all the videos on cryptography and network security, either click on the I icon or you can go through the playlist cryptography and you will find all the videos there. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads. And thanks for watching.